Hi, welcome to the 11th episode of this tutorial series and in this series we'll finish up our organization stuff. So you go to your render system.lcdp file and um, yeah, you can basically remove um, remove the, um, the shader array. So uh, actually no, so in the constructor copy the creation of the shader basically and uh, then remove it from the constructor then remove also everything from the destructor to this and um, and then also remove in the header file uh, the reference to uh, um, the std vector shader array. Then move to the resource manager, the CPP, and then basically um, let's add and then add the creation of the shader. Make sure to change it to underscore shader array and voila. So it will now reside in here the side. Okay, now um, for the deletion, let's do something new. So now before we delete our shader array, create a for loop. So for and um, the first argument will be std vector um, shader interface pointer and iterator um, simply name it iterator and it will equal underscore shader array begin now what this basically does this creates a pointer to the first element in our array so uh, in time we'll have, have multiple shaders and we have to delete all of them somehow so this way we can delete all of those shaders okay now for the condition simply do iterator iterator does not equal uh, underscore shader array and and simply do iterator plus plus then uh, in your for loop simply do delete pointer iterator just remember um, an iterator is a pointer so and because we have an array of pointers basically we have to we have a pointer to a pointer so to delete the, the shader there we have to put an asterisk before the, the, the iterator value so we get the pointer to the actual shader and we can actually copy this and the same and, and do the same for the vertex buffer uh, yeah at the moment we only have one thing in our vertex buffer and shader array but in the future we'll add stuff and it's good to have it to have the deletion now working and um, then simply do std vector and simply replace this with vertex buffer okay and uh, also make sure to change every call to a shader I'm sorry to vertex buffer arrays underscore vertex buffer array and also here so underscore vertex buffer array and voila we're done make sure to, to delete the actual array itself after after you delete all of the elements inside of it. So we're actually now deallocating the memory we allocated originally. Okay, now, um, what else? Yes, go to your game manager, cpp and, well, and what we'll do here, so, um, you can take your vertices and simply copy them and then delete them from here 
And uh, for now, simply create a new header file and call this triangle vertices and create that and then paste them in your new header file and then include um, include your uh, your vertex sorry your vertex data dot h file and then you can uh, change this shell float to an um, uh, to the vertex data p okay so now what we have basically is um, so now we are using the struct we created the last video again this won't change really anything but yeah it's it's better this way because in the future we'll have multiple structures for different kinds of vertex attributes okay now um, now we've done that let's return to our gear manager dot cpp uh, and you can actually now copy the line where you create the vertex buffer delete it and also make sure to, to delete it from the um, from the actual um, header file then go to your game manager I mean your resource manager and again paste it in your game manager and add an underscore then go to your resource manager dot h and you can create the vertex buffer there so vertex buffer underscore or actually no we don't have to create it anymore we don't have to sorry uh, go to your constructor simply add vertex buffer pointer vertex buffer and then simply do uh, underscore shader array and then simply uh, not shader array sorry sorry vertex buffer array and undo pushback and you can push back simply our new vertex buffer here we go okay um, so now we have and now we have one small error here uh, simply include your triangle vertices of h file and we're done so now let's now um, go to your game manager note cpp and now here so, so here we have this call to uh, to render the vertex buffer and you can take this and for now uh, we'll simply do this we will do underscore resource manager uh, get vertex buffer array and then we'll basically do um, uh, add and it will be the first one so simply do zero and now if you run this it will fail one second okay uh, so I made a stupid mistake in the uh, in the vertex data header I simply mistyped the include statement here so it didn't work properly so now uh, yeah simply make sure this is typed correctly and then if you're on this it still works the same way okay okay now go to your uh, vertex buffer.h and in the header file include include um, the um, the shader interface of h file then uh, let's create a 
pointer to it. So simply do shader, sorry, shader interface pointer uh, and do shader interface. So shader interface. Oh, so yeah, or simply call it shader. Yeah, minus. And then um, you can put your comma and then do and in the constructor simply add the, the shader interface shader or you can call this you can, yeah shader and make sure to use underscore shader by the way yeah okay like this so simply now every vertex buffer will have its own shader of course so so this way we can keep a reference to it um, then um, make sure to also add this in the constructor in your .cp file so simply do a shader interface shader okay then that's actually that's actually uh, initialize our variable here so do underscore shader shader okay now and let's and also create a getter for it so back in your header file do shader interface pointer uh, get shader get shader um get shader I simply call it get shader okay and then let's create it Sorry, it's vertex buffer. So vertex buffer yeah, get shader. Okay, and then simply do return underscore shader. Um, and actually, because of this, we don't actually have to have this call here. So you can you can leave this argument. Of vertex position, but we don't really need it anymore. Yeah, actually, simply remove this. So also in the header file, remove this. Then simply put here. Uh, yeah, so remove your vertex position out of your if statement. Then simply do underscore shader. Get a position vertex. And you can then simply copy this and simply then remove it also from here and also here like this. And now, um, now uh, simply go to your render system.cpp and in here use program simply do a vertex buffer get shader get shader get program handle like this and in here and simply remove this so now if we run this, it's still the same. And we get an error, no problem. It's probably something small. Yes, uh, yes of course. Uh, in your constructor, you should actually add uh, the, new the new argument. I'm sorry. Uh, so simply do shader. Or do shader interface at. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Uh, underscore shader array at zero. Um, it'll probably create like an, an uh, 
yeah, create like enums to keep track of the different shares is the simplest thing to do it, I think, but that's for later. So now if you run this, it still does the same thing. It still displays a triangle, but everything now is, is a little neater and more tightly packed. Um, okay, one last thing and go to your uh, render system CVP and this zero simply rem remove that and replace it with this, so simply copy this but instead of get program handle get underscore a position vertex um, now about this color this color should actually also be saved um, to I guess in the vertex buffer somehow uh, I'm not sure how to do this uh, maybe we'll Put in, uh, we'll put this also in the um, in the uh, shader interface or create a separate class to store this um, but for now we'll keep it in here that way it will be easier to test stuff um, but in the future like in a couple of videos we will um, we will actually create uh, well I guess yeah We'll just make a class to store all of the vertex information. So yeah, like position and and stuff. Well, no, not position, like color and uh, and line direction. And yeah, you'll see. Okay, so that was, was episode eleven. Uh, we've done some uh, some yeah organ organization stuff basically. Nothing special. Uh, next episode, we will move on to lighting. Yeah, so lighting and shaders. Um, maybe one last note. Um, you should somehow somehow organize these files, I guess, too. And I'll do it off screen and I'll show you in the next video. But you can do that uh, however you like. Just make sure to, well, this may be best to keep all of the shaders in one file or whatever. Just it's that way it will be be much cleaner, simply. Um, okay, and yeah, that was it, and see you next time. Bye.